Hi there, this will be the weekly reading for Aquarius. This will be a general collective reading, so it will not resonate with all of you. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. And um, this could resonate for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements in Aquarius. I do offer personal readings. If you're interested in that, there's information in the description box on how to book a personal reading with me. I am on Instagram. I am on Facebook. You can find all that information also in the description box also. I've also been posting daily um, collective readings um, on the community page or the community tab. Um, so take check that out um, because... I've been getting some really get in, good insight for those readings as well. So if you have Instagram, follow me on there for more readings, okay? All right, Aquarius. What's going on with my Aquarius viewers? What do my Aquarius viewers need to know? So I'm getting heavy blockage energy in this reading. So somebody is very emotionally conflicted or something's going on here. Somebody's having some anxiety. There may have been some conflict over some secrets, maybe some things that you guys didn't know that maybe came to light. Um, but I definitely see some type of conflict or this could be an internal conflict. Some of you guys can be dealing with the Pisces or Leo. But somebody is like battling between what their intuition is telling them and their own thoughts and beliefs or feelings, all right, is what I'm getting here. I really am getting the feeling that there is a water energy possibly it could be any sign but there could be a water energy here that is emotionally blocked that's very emotionally guarded but i feel like something may be changing here i feel like there's a new passionate beginning manifesting because somebody's becoming a mo more emotionally available because they're walking away from something else that they were emotionally invested in that was actually not even that was very toxic to them that created a lot of conflict for them that was not fulfilling for them um this could have been a marriage this could have been a relationship this could be just their maybe somebody in their family but i'm seeing somebody having the strength to walk away from something that was like a foundation in their life all right could be anything, could be a job, something here that was like something that was a foundation, something that was long standing in their life. It could have been a job that they were at for many years. It could have been a relationship. It could have been a family member they were dealing with. But I'm seeing that somebody is becoming opening up emotionally because they're walking away from something. Yeah, somebody is like emotionally awakening. They were blocked. But the blockage is being cleared here. Things are moving along now. Somebody could also be going through some type of healing process. And it's causing them to be able to open up 
whatever this is, this faded events are happening here. It was faded for this person to end something that was, you know, something that was in their life. It was faded for them to end that so that they could reach fulfillment, so that they could be happy, so that they could get what they have been trying to be trying to manifest. All right. Somebody really needed to set boundaries as well. Or be more assertive, stick up for themselves. That's what the strength card is to me, is like gaining the strength to stick up for yourself, to make, you know, make decisions for yourself, to take action, decisive action. Um, and now it's leading to a lot of victory here and success. Um, something is definitely manifesting. And it looks like it could be something to do with the commitment. Somebody is finally listening to their intuition. They may have had a lot of people in their ear giving them advice, telling them what they needed to do. And maybe they listened to that for a long time. But I feel like now somebody is more in tune with the divine or listening to their intuition. And now they're going down their the correct path or they're starting down the correct path here. All right. So let's go ahead and whew, drop in cards. here for now so let's take a deeper look let's look at the situations oracle cards guys and see what's going on here i am going to be extending this reading and if you're interested in that um the link will be in the description box the extended readings have been very insightful they're not meant for everybody, but for those of you that feel like you, you know, the situation resonates with you and you want, you know, you feel drawn to, you know, watch that extended reading or you want to know more about the situation, um, I highly recommend that you do that. Um, I feel like the channel messages that have been coming through have been very helpful as well. I've get, been getting a lot of feedback that the channel messages that I do at the end of the reading, the extended readings have been very insightful. All right, so like I said, that link, the link to that will be in the description box. All right, what's going on here? Hold on, where'd that card go? I saw it. There it is. Yeah, this person's about to, some whoever this is coming through in this reading, they're about to free themselves from, I'm going to wait until I get all eight cards out that I'm going to draw, but yeah. Somebody was emo emotionally invested in some type of situation that had ended, but it ended pretty badly and they just could not let go of a bad ending. Or how things went in a, a past situation is what I'm getting here. Um, but it has been keeping them feeling trapped and frustrated. Somebody is on the verge of doing something with they maybe maybe what they consider drastic or harsh. Or they're gonna have to take some very big drastic they're gonna have to take some drastic action to be able to obtain this you know with you all right to because they do have this love for you they have this genuine they're genuine they're certain about how they feel about you they don't feel like they can contain their feelings for much longer they do feel a strong connection to you but what's this threatened card what are they threatened by hmm why are they threatened by the divine feminine all right, what's projected? Hmm. What about the toxic behaviors? They feel threatened by... Let's go a little closer. So 
So something about you threat it was threatening to them. It's like for for a person that's emotionally blocked or closed off or they have been for a long time when they start feeling things for people, when they start feeling actual feelings of love for people, I feel like that was threatening to this person and made them be a runner. They probably ran from you or this connection or they were running from how they felt about you. Yeah. But they've really actually been going through a lot of emotions. It's like you give this person an adrenaline rush almost. But this person was stuck in unhealthy behaviors. They were toxic. But it's like they want to prove something to you now. They want to prove something to you. And they want to settle any. If you guys haven't had any conflict, they want to come to settle things. What do they want to prove? What's this prove? Something about this another energy here. What do they want to prove about this person? Hmm. What does this have to do with my Aquarius viewers? So I think they want to prove to you that they do want to come together with you, that they do want to reconcile, come into union, but they have somebody that's like pursuing them heavily because of money reasons, possibly. Tell me more about this drama queen. Yeah, they're trying to escape a situation that has to do with this, this person that's maybe using them for money. What's this mean for my Aquarius viewers? This person just feels like they can't escape the drama that comes along with this other person that they've been dealing with. Yeah, they're trying to get rid of this negative person. So what's going to happen with my Aquarius viewers and this person? So it looks like whatever situation that this person was trapped in is going to be finally over. And I see a lot of happiness um, and I see union manifesting as a result of that. And I feel like this person is going to reappear in your life at a spontaneous time or very spontaneously is what I'm trying to say. Mm, interesting. All right, let's do evolution of the soul cards. And then I'm going to take it over to the extended reading. telling you guys in this deck of however many cards it's like 100 cards the same cards keep coming out for everybody over the past couple weeks so you, there's like a collective you know energy going on here okay you guys are kind of all going through similar things but somebody here is becoming more spiritually aware aware and i and i said that before somebody was listening to other people somebody was listening to their own fears and anxieties they weren't listening to their intuition but now i feel like somebody's becoming more in touch with the divine and being more they're becoming more spiritual and it's and they're listening to the wisdom that they're getting from the divine finally this person could be looking into spiritual spirituality they're looking for answers. They're looking for truth. Somebody is starting down their spiritual journey. There's a big theme here about balance. Somebody really wants balance in their life. 
And I feel like somebody is really striving for contentment in their life too, fulfillment. This person didn't want to go against social norms. They wanted to fit in or they wanted to be liked or approved by, you know, their family members or whatever this was. But um, when they encountered you, you have this energy about you where you help people evolve. And I told you this person was a runner. They couldn't run anymore. Somebody's getting more in tune with themselves and their existence. And I feel like you guys, either you or your person, it could be both of you guys, are getting a lot of help and assistance from your ancestors at this time. All right. So this is what I have for you guys. Um, like I said, I will be extending this reading. Um, but if you're not interested in that, sorry, guys, the extended reading link is in the description box. Um, but if, you, if you're not interested in that, thank you so much for watching. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.